And here come the Rock and Roll Express, Scott Magnum, Robert Gibson, the UCW Tag Team Champions, out here to defend their gold. As you can see, Mayhem, their opponents, already out in the ring. Along with Rico Rodriguez, I guess he's taking over the uh, managing duties tonight from Dave DuPont. Surprised all four members of the exchange aren't out here. Well, they like to play the numbers game here at Lemmy, and tonight they do have a one-up advantage here on the Rock and Roll Express. They had a, a similar advantage uh, at our last show, however, and uh, still the Rock and Roll Express came out victorious. Rock and Roll Express fan favorites here going outside of the ring, getting support from the fans before their match starts. Scott Magnum, slapping hands with the fans at ringside, now jumping in the ring. <laughs> you can see the exchange outside trying to demean all that, trying to hassle the fans here before the match begins. You don't need to intimidate the fans, you need to intimidate your opponents to get back in their ring. Well, I don't, I'm betting the fans probably started it. They don't need to take, they don't need to take any abuse from the humanoids. No, the exchange are good people. We hang out. I don't know why the fans are giving us crap. Nitro and Chainsaw are good guys. I mean, they may look like the folk but, you know. But that time that they put your head in the toilet and uh, flushed several times, uh, that was just, you know, that was just good horseplay. That was just their way of saying, of saying, Adam Edwards, we love you. We want you to be in the exchange. But, you know. Of course, you couldn't accept because of your other obligations. Yeah, it would be, uh, you know, It'd be a conflict of interest here. But Rico is doing a good job on that side. He's almost he'll be he'll be showing the he'll be showing him where to go here. He'll be like kind of the ringleader here. I'm sure uh, Dave Dupont is uh, looking out at one of our monitors, but in the back, probably going to be uh, watching the performance of Mayhem as long as as well as the uh, performance of Rico Rodriguez in the role of manager out here. Oh, he'll be taking notes back there. He's uh... wily guy. The exchange still on the outside, refusing to get back in the ring here. The crowd knows what's at stake here, the tag team championships. Rock and roll chants from the fans. Support of the Rock and Roll Express, Mayhem. Doesn't want to listen to that. Looks like we're ready to get started here finally, uh, Lemmy and uh Nope, Rock and Roll Express taking outside now. I don't know what's going on. Neither one, neither one of these teams uh, wants to be in the ring while the other team is in it. And just like last month, only in reverse, uh, the Rock and Roll Express head into the back before the match starts, just as Mayhem did last month, or last show, I should say. Uh, and what are they doing? Either the Rock and Roll Express is playing mind games or they're dirty, dirty chickens here, Lenny. Well, uh, we're going to find out within the next 10 seconds as the ref begins a 10 count. Now here they come. They're coming back to the ring and... And who's that with them? It's it's Justin Rhodes. Justin Rhodes coming out to support the Rock and Roll Express and even the odds with Rico Rodriguez at re ringside. Now it's three on three, Lemmy. We'll have joined this two out of three falls match in progress after the commercial break. Damn right. Welcome back to Ultimate Championship Wrestling. The fans continuing to support the Rock and Roll Express. Let's take a look at what happened during the break. We actually had one fall already. Mayhem coming out strong, attacking Robert Gibson. Gibson, though, using his years of uh, experience to lure uh, Chainsaw into a trap, hit the Jack Russell roll up for the 1-2-3, and they're up 1-0 as we come back from commercial. Already the Rock and Roll Express have an advantage in this matchup. One more pinfall and it's over. The Rock and Roll Express keep their tag team titles. Chainsaw runs in, gets kicked in the stomach by Robert Gibson. Now Scott Magnum pounding away. Even though I hang out with the exchange, uh, you know, on a fairly recent basis, still can't tell the difference between Chainsaw and Nitro there, Lemmy. Well, yeah. Perhaps if, uh, perhaps if uh, you looked at them upside down and there was a toilet in the room. Well, then, well, yeah, no question. I, you know, the circumstances I'm used to. Scott Magnum pounding away on Chainsaw. Nitro coming in, almost stomping on his partner there. Probably not what he had in mind when coming into the ring illegally there. Well, uh, at the very least, he did uh, prevent a three count. 
Snapmare, followed by Perfect Neckbreaker. Rock and Roll Express looking really good. Uh, almost a shade to the viper here earlier. It's a shot to the groin here. I don't know about using your face to hit another man in the groin, but hey, whatever. <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever works, and apparently uh, that worked, is now the Rock and Roll Express have a decisive advantage over Nitro and Chainsaw. They haven't been looking good all match. Double back elbow brings Chainsaw down to the mat. Scott Magnum knocks Nitro off the ring apron. Just a little bit of insult, Andrew. Bionic elbow. Rico needs to get his boys going here. Uh, things not going so well for the exchange. Dave DuPont can't be happy so far with what's been going on in this matchup. Robert Gibson holding on to that reverse chin lock on the mat. Leg scissors helps Chainsaw get out of it. Chainsaw may have used a legal hair pull there to change that around, but whatever worked, he got out of it. Now both men back up to their feet. Chainsaw wanted to lock up with Gibson. Gibson wanted no part of that, though. He knows he's no match going strength for strength with this young buck, Chainsaw. Chainsaw's both Chainsaw and Nitro powerful guys. And Rock and Roll Express knows it. They don't, they don't want to play a power game here. Now, I understand that they can hold a 140-pound man by his foot with one hand. Um, that may have happened. Uh, also, the, they might be able to tie a man to a flagpole using only his underwear. That's also a rumor going around here in UCW. I like to state that uh, that definitely did happen. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who the unfortunate sap was there. Well, let's go back to the action, Lemmy. As you can see, the Rock and Roll Express uh, biding their time here, trying to get the fans involved. Rock and Roll chance again by this capacity crowd, getting behind the Rock and Roll Express, antagonizing mayhem. Definitely not the fan favorites here. I don't know why they're giving mayhem so much crap. As I said before, Robert Gibson, no match Look at for either one of these two men. Powerful strength shots to the midsection. But he does have the experience advantage. He's going to use that. Whoa. Robert gets not fast enough to to go in for that shot to the midsection. Missing, going right into the ring post. He may have broken his shoulder. Nitro not doesn't have the experience that Robert Gibson has, but he has enough to know that uh, when your opponent is charging at you. Chainsaw on the outside. Misses a clothesline. Chased off by uh, Justin Rhodes. I don't know why Justin Rhodes is getting involved. You don't see Rico Rodriguez.